the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe is coming up in, in two weeks' time. Can you just talk a little bit about, as a, as a race, what it means to you? It's the biggest race in the world, for sure. Every time you go in the paddock in this race, there is an atmosphere that is uh, really special. Everybody wants to win this race uh, all around the world. The racetrack is uh, mythic, it's just fabulous in the middle, uh, middle of Paris. I love to ride there, it's very tactical. And uh, we, you need a champion to, to win it. Talakani wins the Arc de Triomphe. Sarkava has come very wide from the back of the field. She's tremendously impressive and she's one pulling up. I think this year I feel the flame. That shows a lot of ability from the beginning of the season. That he's doing great in Longchamp as well. He likes the track. His last run in the Prunel was uh, probably a little bit under that what we expected. I think that he really needs that run that day. But the horse uh, yeah, came back from his run uh, really well. The field was quite good that day. I think the winner of the Prunel was a, a very good horse. We know it's going to be a very open race. Uh, Ace Impact is going to be probably the big favorite in the race. But uh, we never know if the ground change. Uh, many things can happen also in, in this race. But yeah, it's uh, a, a very exciting race this year. Here's Feed the Flame with a whirlwind finish. Feed the Flame's got the finishing kick to win the Grand Prix de Paris. For me, yeah, his turn of foot when he's in great shape like he did in the Grand Prix de Paris is amazing because he's able to come from very far and give a great turn of foot. So that's a, um, a great point for, for us in the arc. Finally, we want to talk a little bit about uh, Frankie de Tori. I think he's a bit of a hero of yours. Yeah, when I was a kid, there was a Ladbrook shop uh, close from my uh, house and between uh, the school and the house, when I came back one day, um, I saw a big poster. It was probably uh, in, in November, um, a few months after the arc, and he won his first arc with Lamtara. And uh, when I saw the picture uh, uh, in the betting shop, uh, I saw that, I said, wow, I, 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 I thought it was not a real uh, picture. And uh, when I look, I say uh, to the betting shop, um, uh, please, can I have it? He said, next month, I, I can get, give it to you. He give it to me, and um, I, I draw it uh, many, many times. And um, it was a big, big one. So I knew exactly the way he was holding his reins, the way he was putting his whip up. For me, he's probably the, the nicest jockey I've seen on, uh, on the horse. So yeah, something really special. He inspired me so many uh, times. I can't imagine uh, how he is going to feel when you see how many great races he won this year. I think it's probably one of his best seasons. What he did also in Deauville this summer in the Jacques Lemaire was uh, completely uh, crazy for me. And um, yeah, he's very, uh, a very special person that I'm respecting a lot. What will you say to him as you kind of riding and or going out to the weighing room ready to ride in the arc? Oh, I'm, I always have a lot of respect for him, so we're not saying too much. Yeah, maybe a good luck, but uh, he knows his job. It's uh, probably after the race that uh, I'm going to have more an emotional uh, feeling. But uh, yeah, before the race, we try to get uh, really concentrated on our job and uh, we will see what will happen.